Hi friends, my name is Zakil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to import only specific columns from Excel files using SSIS and the Excel sheet name in each file is different. Okay, so the agenda of the video tutorial is same. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got several Excel files and if I show you the data in the Excel file, then it contains some like person's ID, first name, last name, email and gender and this is the sheet name. So the sheet name for each file is different okay and what I want is that I want only specific columns from this particular file for example it contains like ID first name last name email and gender but I only want for example ID first name last name and email I do not want the gender column okay or maybe if you want only one specific column like if you want only maybe email then you can also select only the email okay but in this case I will want only the first four columns so we'll see how we can do that and this is the first file and it contains 1000 records and the ID starts from 1 and it goes up to 1000. So let me open the second file and this file also contains 1000 records and the ID starts from 1001 and it goes up to 2000. So we will be selecting the first four columns from this file as well and the Excel sheet name is different. Okay. So let me close this one. Yeah. So let me create an SSIS package. So this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today. And because we want to loop through multiple files so we can just create few variables here so I can click on variables pane and click new to create new variable the first variable I will create is file path and the data type for the variable will be a string and I can provide an initial value to this particular variable so maybe I can select this value d files employee dot x ls x and I can provide the value here okay and the second variable I will create is the sheet name because sheet name is dynamic and it is dependent for each particular excel file okay so it will be specific to for each excel file so that's why we need to get it from that particular file only sheet name for the employee.xls x sheet is data so we will provide data dollar here okay and now we can just drag and drop the for each loop container into the control flow window and then we can configure the for each loop container here so we will be importing the data from the excel files into the employee underscore custom table which contains four columns okay and right now the table is empty and the table is situated inside sql server 2017 instance into the test database so let me configure the for each loop container we need to click on the collection and under enumerator type we can select the for each file enumerator because we want to loop through multiple files in a folder now under folder location we can browse the location so our files are situated inside d files location so I will provide the location here and then we want to import the xlsx type of files okay so I can just provide this value here so that it can import only those particular file now I can click on the variable mapping and from the variable I will select the file path SSIS variable so for each iteration of the for each loop the current file path will be assigned to the file path SSIS variable so I can click on ok and now because we want to import the data so we can just drag and drop the data flow task into the for each loop container and I can configure the data flow task because we want to import the data from an excel file so we can just drag and drop the excel source into the data flow task and then we can configure the excel source we need to make a connection to the excel file so we can browse the file we can select any file from here click open ok now from name of the excel sheet we can select the excel sheet name so this is the excel sheet name from the employee.xlsx okay and the excel sheet name is different for each excel file so we need to get the excel sheet name dynamically but for now i can just select from here i can go to the columns click ok and now i can just use the oledb destination to write the data into the sql server so i can just connect the excel source with the oledb destination and i can just configure the oledb destination here I need to make a connection to the SQL Server database so I can click on new and I can select the connection. If the connection is not available here then you can click on new and then you can just provide the server name and then the database name. But our connection is already created so I will select this connection and I will click on ok. From data access mode I will select table or view fast load so that it can do the bulk insert. Now from the name of the table or view I will select the employee underscore custom and I will click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns so this is good and now I can click on ok so so far we are good now we need to make the excel connection manager dynamic because if you see here the property excel file path this is currently mapped to the d files employee dot xlsx 
but because we want to look through multiple excel file and we want to import multiple tables so we need to make this connection dynamic so we can go to the expressions click on this one select the excel file path property and we need to assign the value of the excel file path from the variable file path so just drag and drop it to into the expression click on evaluate expression so this is good click on ok ok so now when the for each loop container will run the value of the file path will change and that value will be assigned to the excel file path property okay so the value of the file path will change and it will import the new file every time okay so this is good but as of now the connection manager is dynamic but this sheet name name of the sheet name this is hard coded so we need to make this the sheet name dynamic as well okay so for that what we can do i have created another video actually recently and i will share the link of that video as well if you want like how we can get the sheet name dynamically but i already have a code so maybe i can just drag and drop the script task into the for each loop container and i can just copy paste the same code here so that should be fine so i can just right click and configure the script task in the script task we will write code to get the sheet name dynamically for each specific excel file from the read only variable i will select the file path ssis variable because file path will contain the path of the excel file and now under the read write variable i will select the sheet name because we will be inserting the specific sheet name for that particular file into this particular variable now i can click on edit script so that it can open the script editor for me so we need to wait for a bit until the script editor can be opened all right so the script editor has been opened and i already have some code that i will share with you so we can copy this code from here and we can paste the code here all right so the code has been pasted so now you can see a red line just under the office so it means that it is missing a namespace okay so we need to add a namespace here so you can just expand the references right click and click on add reference and here you can type excel and just press enter and you can see a library here microsoft excel 16.0 object library so you can just select this one and click on okay so this will add a reference to the microsoft.office.interop.excel okay so this one it has added so we are good here so what we are doing here that we are getting the excel file path using the this particular variable and then we are getting the sheet name into a local variable sheet name and then we need to assign the sheet name to the ssis variable sheet name okay so we can write dts dot variables and sheet name dot value and the value will come from this variable sheet name okay and we need to append the dollar to this sheet name okay because as we have appended the dollar to the data for the data sheet name so here you will append the dollar to every sheet name so that's good so th this is fine now i can click on file exit and then i can click on okay so now the ssis variable sheet name will have the current sheet name for each particular file now i can go back to the data flow task and if you see here in the excel source if i click on edit and from the data access mode there is an option table name or view name variable so if you select this one and from the variable name if you select the sheet name so this will fetch the sheet name dynamically for each file now from here if you want to select the column so there are multiple options actually i can think of two options as of now for the at least for the data flow task the first option that if you want to select only the specific columns is that if you go to the columns so the, all the columns are listed here okay so if you do not want some of the columns then you can just uncheck those one and those columns will be removed from the excel source so for example i was not interested in the gender name so i just unchecked this one and this column has been re removed from here so i can click on okay so this is one of the method and i will tell you about the another method in a bit okay so this was the first method now if you want to import the data into the employee underscore custom table so right now the table is empty so you can click on the start button to start importing the data from three different excel files so it imported the data from one file now it imported the data from second file now it imported the data from third file so it has imported the data from three different files okay now if you see the data here so you can see 3000 records have been imported and if you check the id so you can see that the id is different for all the three files so it means that the data has been imported correctly now let me just truncate this particular table and let me tell you about the second method like how you can actually select only the specific columns using the 
SQL query okay so how you can do that you can create a SQL query here variable SQL query you can name your variable anything okay but I have named it as SQL query the data type I will select is a string and now what I want to do is that I have written the query here actually okay and let, let me paste it here inside the expressions okay let me remove this dollar from here because the dollar is already in the sheet name okay and let me put a double quote and end the double quote as well and now let me open the excel file and show you like how this query will be configured okay so if you see here this is the first column number a this is the second column b this is the third column c and this is the fourth column d so we are interested in the data from a1 to d okay so we can just modify our query accordingly so from here we are interested a1 till d so we can find the value d here and it will select only those specific columns so i can click on ok now i can go back to the data flow task and from excel source i can right click and click on edit from data access mode i will select sql command from variable and from the variable name i will select the sql query so it will select the data only for these particular columns if you click on the columns so it is saying that the microsoft access database engine cannot open or write to the file it is already opened because the file is already open so that's why it is not able to open it again so i can just close this one and then i can click on the columns again now it is able to open it so now if you see here from the source itself it has not selected the gender column because we selected only the four columns so that's why it has selected the only the four columns from it and the gender column is not available here so i think this should be the faster as compared to the previous method because in the previous method the fifth column was available and we have unchecked that one but in this particular case the fifth column is even not available so it has not selected that column from the scratch so i can click on ok and right now the table should be empty yes yeah, the table is empty so i can just click on the start button and i can just reload the data again so it has imported 1000 records it has imported second file and now it has imported the third file so all three files got loaded successfully and if you check the data now so you can see here the 3000 records have been loaded 1000 records have been loaded by each file so i think this is good so this is how you can just select a specific columns from each excel file and then you can load the data and the excel sheet name is getting dynamically selected from the excel file so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much